Hi everyone, this is Laura with Pamper Shop. We're making braised chicken tonight. So I'm gonna show you how this is done um, right in our enameled cast iron pan, okay? This, um, I love braised, doing braised chicken. It's a different type of cooking method. Now I've done a whole package of chicken thighs uh, you can mix this with drumsticks and stuff like that. So you keep the skin on for this. So that means it's really budget friendly. So I want you to look inside here and look at the pan. Now this may freak some out because, oh my gosh, we have to clean this. But this is called fond. And this is going to give our recipe a ton of flavor. I've already cooked our bacon. And so, not literally, but literally uh, cooked the bacon. So now we're going to use leeks in our cooking. So leeks look like this. They look like a big old huge green onion. We're just going to use this part here to this part. Now this, you don't have to throw away. You can put this in your freezer bag to make your own veggie stock, but we're only using this part. And I've already cut one up today. The, it came in a pack of two. So you can see I added, actually added too much of the green right here. You only want the light colored. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this right into the pan. And it's going to do its thing. Um, here's my, my dish. So right now we're just letting this cook. Now leeks are part of the onion family, garlic family, but they're more, much more subtle in flavor. You guys, they're so good if you do something like this and then add them to a salad. They just is a nice, they just have a wonderful flavor to them. I actually don't cook enough with them and I tend to forget, but Every time I, and then I'm reminded when I use them how much I really do like leeks. So, um, so we're just letting this do its thing, and then we're going to add garlic. Now the recipe calls for four cloves of garlic. When I told Doug four cloves, he chuckled because we don't follow the recipe. When it says add four, we're like, no, nope, we're doing eight. Um, we like to, we love garlic. So we just take our garlic cloves and press it right into the hopper. Um, and I, I lost the little tool that pulls out the peel, so I use a knife. So don't follow me on that one. But, so you just put it right in and then you scrape it, okay? So um, there is about eight or 10 cloves of garlic in this we're gonna add to dinner tonight. Uh, our meal systems are pretty good. So we really like our garlic. Okay. So you can see here, we're only going to cook the garlic about 20 seconds because we're going to, and I wish you could smell it, because it smells so good between the leeks and the garlic. Just scratch the screen, you'll get the uh, idea. That's right, scratch the, the screen, scratch and sniff. Um, camera guy's supposed to be quiet. Anyway. Um, all right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead. Now, how many of you would look at the bottom of this and kind of freak out and think, oh my gosh, who has to clean that? Well, no, here's what we're doing. We're actually going to add some wine, okay? And I purposely purchased this white wine for cooking, okay? And you actually let it cook for a few minutes. It reduces it and it's going to thicken it up and we're making a roux. Now, what we do is you just let it cook for a few minutes and it does cook out the alcohol. We're not gonna let it cook completely that long, but um, we're just going to let it cook and pull up the bits at the bottom of that skillet. That is extremely important stuff. That is full of flavor. You don't ever wanna get rid of that, okay? In fact, you can see now, come here camera guy. You can see now, see how it's pulling it up? This is full on flavor, guys, and it will make this pot super easy to clean. Okay, so we're adding all this in right here. All right, so um, it's going to thicken, all right? And I added a little extra because I have a ton of chicken thighs I'm doing. Remember, you guys, I always do a little bit of extra. Now, I'm adding some butter, okay? Butter is life, and... Um, I, we love butter here. And we're going to add in some Dijon mustard. So we're gonna get this butter melted, <clears throat> stir in the Dijon mustard. 
Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to post this recipe for you guys. Um, the recipe actually called for a lemon pepper seasoning. Doug and I are not lemon pepper fans. We have a story about that. When we were first married, I made a, remember, hamburger helper. Well, they used to have a chicken helper, and I didn't have chicken, so I used pork chops. All right, guys, 19 years later, we're still talk, we still laugh about it. We don't do lemon pepper. So anyway, that's, we don't do that. So the seasonings I used tonight were the seasoning salt, garlic and herb, and the three onion, okay? Those are the seasonings that I did on the chicken. So as you can see, my bottom of my um, skill, uh, pan is almost completely free of all that fond, and it is thickening up. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some flour. And this is gonna create even more of a roux. You can use gluten-free flour. You can't tell the difference. I'm just using regular tonight. If you're not a white wine drinker, you can buy those little bottles of white wine. I like white wine, so I buy the big bottles. Um, you can do whatever. So look, so here, look at how thick this is starting to turn. This is the good stuff, guys. This is what we want, okay? This is awesome. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add in our bacon. You guys, you know you're going to fall in love with this recipe because it has bacon. So we're going to add in our bacon. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in back in our chicken, okay? So by adding the chicken back in, I, I, I seared it, okay? But I didn't cook it all the way. So we're going to add all this back in. Okay? Chicken bake. Right. Oh dear. And we're gonna add in our some chicken broth, okay? We don't want the bottom to burn. So we're gonna add in our chicken broth. And honestly, I could probably add a little bit more since I added so many chicken broths. Now here's the fun part too. This recipe calls for spinach. Well, I belong, I, oops, I have burnt spinach. Um, I belong to, get our rooted gypsy and they included something in my box this month called kamatsuna no not kamasutra kamatsuna it's a mustard spinach and it's actually not even spinach it has a mild flavor and so we're just going to put this right on top all you people thought i you heard me say kamasutra naughty on you not Kama Sutra. So we're just going to put this right on top and we're going to cook this. We're going to cook this about 13, 15 minutes and the spinach will melt, melt down. It will cook down and the chicken breast. And then what we're going to do is I'm, you can cook this with mashed potatoes, serve it with mashed potatoes, rice. We, I had found this really fun pasta at the store, look at these big old spirals. So I'm gonna get this started in our quick cooker. Um, I'm just gonna do custom for time. I'm gonna do two minutes, you guys. That's all, by the time this is done, oops, by the time this is done, this will be done and I'll serve it together. I'm gonna add do butter and Parmesan cheese and garlic for our pasta, serve it with this and we'll have dinner done. You guys, when you have a busy night, this is a more complex recipe but honestly, dinner is pulled together in 30 minutes. And when you're busy going out to eat, um, sometimes it sounds like the better plan, but man, this is so easy. And I'll post the recipe for you guys. So um, hope you have a great night.